these things, right? And a n means what? Not a number. So you know infinity itself is not a real value. Okay. So when you do some math that <coughs> has to do with infinity, so for example, I have x is 0 0.3, as a double. And then I say result math equals math dot sine of 1 over x. So what does it mean? 1 over x is what? x is 0, right? So 1 over x is? 1 over 0 is? Huh? That's not. You can't do that. 1 over 0 is infinity. Right. So what I'm trying to find is sine of infinity. Is there anything for sine of infinity? No. Right? So it's not a number, so that's what it is. You know, if you do it as a program, you should return not a number. So the result, the value of this result variable will be not a number at a m. So you may think I would check whether result equals double equals actually. So whenever you're comparing, make sure you see double equals. Okay, you need your PHP programs and not a subject will say one equal which you're assigning the value. Okay, you are all right, so when you say result equals double dot mad, you're comparing, right? So you may think if the result value is uh, not a number, it should return true, right? But that's not the case, so uh, they have not really taken care of this uh, correctly. So what happens is when you use a numerical comparison operators like less than, less than, or equal to, or double equal to, with a mad, and a n, not a number, it returns false. So when you do this, it returns false, okay? And it should, it will print result is not a, um, is not an end, okay? So that's what the output of this program is. So you run this program with x equals zero, to one over x plus infinity, and uh, the result of that sign of infinity should be not a number, right? So when you compare, it should be true. So what you should get is this line printed. But what gets printed is this line. Okay? Yes. So, uh, NAND is a NAND is like a built in variable. Like, uh, if you know, like, that's a variable called static variables. And static variables means they have a value, a fixed value for both of them. So, double dot NAND. So, whenever you want to have a variable whose uh, value is not a number, can say double dot n or double dot infinity. All these are uh, static variables of the class double. That may um, give an example what you would use that for. Like, like for example, here you want to check that uh, if the argument, if x value is zero, you are not getting any meaningful result, right? So you want to check before you do any processing whether result equals double dot n. So you think logically this should work because I'm getting result here as n and when I compare whether this is equal to n, it should return true. But uh, it doesn't return true, okay? So you want to make sure uh, you don't do any processing, the result is uh, not a number, right? So to handle this scenario, the code you have to use is I think of the test we have to do is there is also a built-in function called eSpan. So we have to do something like this. There's a function by name eSnan uh, that you call on this class double. So what you should have, what you have to use is pass this result argument like I showed here, compute the result map dot sign of one over x. And then instead of checking result equals equals double dot n, check it like this, double dot is nan result. So this is the function that takes a result argument and result is not a number, it will return true. Okay? So the whole function is nan will return true if the result is not a number. And then you can say it's not a number. If it is, if it is not a number, if they are, if it is not not a number, which means what? This returns false, right? This returns false, it means it's, a, it's not yeah, not a number, it means it's a regular number, basically, that's what it is, all right? Any question? So, when you do, even in your, uh, what is that, quiz, I tend to call this a project, right?
the, the quiz, right? The last quiz. Uh, you have to make sure that you don't end up with not a number. Sometimes when your argument is a zero, it divide by zero or do something, you should uh, not get, get infinity or not a number. Okay? And that's done before you do the actual process. Huh? That's done before you actually do the, the function of a division, right? What is that? That's done at the beginning of the program before you actually do that function. Um, not in the beginning. So when you do some math operation like this, okay, and it's vulnerable to yield the result like here, and x is zero. Let's say user process input as zero mm -hmm. for x, and your function that you are computing is sine function, right? And sine of one over x. So this is like vulnerable to get a value of. And a m, right? And if x is 0, 1 over 0 is infinity, you're trying to find a sign of infinity, it is not a number. So the result of some math operation would be not a number. So that's the time you have to check. Sometimes the user may enter an input not an n or uh, not a number of infinity. We will later see how to handle that. Okay? So this is a scenario where the result of an arithmetic operation would be not a number, and this is how you will handle it. Okay. All right. So okay. So this is when the user enters a, not a number. All right. As input. So here the code is. Uh, it takes two inputs, R1 and R2. There's an addition, uh, or checks if the addition will exceed the maximum value, the bound. If it exceeds, you have to show print and force no error. We did this before, right? We, if you want to do an addition of two arguments or two values, you want to make sure it is less than what? <coughs> the max, whatever be the data type. So here you're working with double, right? So you want to make sure it's less than the max value for the, less than or equal to the max value for the double. So how do you check that? <coughs> You want to make sure it is less than or equal. So you want to check if it's going to be, it, it could be even greater than here, but that's okay. Uh, so you want to check if R1 plus R2 is greater than max, right? So how do you check? You cannot add and check. As I said, if you add and check, it would have already overflow. So it will be getting actually a negative number here. So this is equivalent to writing R1 greater than max minus R2. So that's what I have. Okay? So you could really have this greater than here. So you're checking R1 greater than double dot max value. That's the way you get the max value for double data type. Okay? Minus R2. And you will get you can print error that message. If it is not true, if it is not true means what? R1 plus R2 is not greater than max, right? So if it's not true, means it's not greater than max. So it means it's less than or equal to max. That's what it means, right? So it's a normal addition. So that's why the else part, you just print R1 plus R2 to the sum, okay? So now the user passes a kind of tricky input. When you run this program, let's say I'm passing these two as inputs, 34 and not a number. So this answers your question. If the user inputs not a number, how to handle that? Okay. So this program is not equipped to handle that scenario as such. It inputs 34 for R1 and not a number for R2. And you may be wondering what's happening here. So you see here the sum in princess NAND. So it means this test will fail because it's not a number, right? So R1, which is 34, is greater than, you will check the max value, whatever the max is, minus not a number, right? Mm -hmm. So when you do anything with not a number, the result max minus not a number is also not a number, all right? So, and I just told you in the previous case, when you do any comparison operation with not a number, what happens? To any of the numerical comparison operators uh, with not a number as the argument you compare with, uh, compare with the result is false, right? So you're comparing 34 with not a number. So 34 greater than not a number, the answer would be false, okay? So it is like if false. So you don't go into the if block, you go to the else block. 
and it should print sum is again you are doing what 34 plus not a number so sum of 34 and not a number is not a number so that's why you get the answer as sum is not a number see what I mean so you shouldn't get this answer you have to fix it see what is the problem you are getting two inputs not an argument 1 is 34 and argument 2 is not a number right and what you are doing here well the program was not built in to handle not a number scenario it was just built in to check for overflow errors okay and if the user passes some two regular numbers will have checked it will done fine so now the user passes not a number so max minus not a number is any arithmetic operation with not a number will give not a number so the whole thing is not a number so 34 greater than not a number, again any comparison operator executed on not a number is all will return false. Okay, so this will return false. So you don't go inside the if block and print into the overflow error. So instead it will go to else block because this condition is returning false. So you go here and say sum is. So now you try to print the value of R1 plus R2. R1 is 34 and R2 is not a number. So 34 plus not a number is again not a number. That's why you get the answer as sum is not a number. So how can you handle this? I told you this function, right? So how can you make use of this? You have subtracting the max from the from the argument. You get an input, right? So this is where you handle things at the input stage. Uh, you want to make sure the input is a valid input. And this function tells you that. It checks whether the argument you pass to this function is a, is a number or not. So if you, instead of, now what you should do? Any idea? You want to tell, try. Instead of this, check whether your R1 is this. Double is not a number, this will return what? True or false, right? If R1 is not a number, it will return true. If R1 is a number, it will return false. Isn't it? It's a boolean. It's a boolean. Right. No, no, no. This is like the name of the class. This, this is the name of the class, not the return class. Have you done uh, static method, static functions? So this is one static function. This is executed on the name of the class itself. Double dot is not a number. It's the name of the function. So what you should do is you should call it on the input argument itself. So you see here I say if double dot is not a number R1, right? or double dot is not a number R2. So if either of the two arguments is not a number, it should just print input is, or input inputs is not a number. And you should return, when you say return the semicolon, the control, the whole program stops. There's no more execution, right? So if this test passes in the sense that if both arguments are numbers, Right? So if you pass say a regular input, say 34 and 42, it, it checks what? Double dot is not a number of 34. Is 34 not a number? <coughs> huh? is, is, so it returns true or false? <coughs> false. False, right? So 34 is a number. So only when the argument is not a number, it returns true. So when the argument is a number, it returns false. Because you're checking whether it is not a number or not, right? So this returns false. And the other one will also return false if you pass 42. So false or false is what? False, right? Boolean algebra. So which means the whole if statement will be false, so it won't execute the inside statements. So the control the program will continue to run if you pass regular numbers. If you pass at least one of the two arguments as not a number, <coughs> this will be what? So if you pass instead of 42, you pass N A N. Second argument will be true. So what is false or true? False. 
or not true?
should not do it. So let's say I have a program where I move double, I will move my vectors. So I equals 0 0.1, I as then equals 0 0.0, I equals 0 0.1. So this is how you write some simple formula, right? It's not blended. Right? In I equals 1, I less than equals 10, I plus plus. That sounds familiar? No? Yes. Is there a way you can make this screen bigger? Huh? Is there a way you can make the text bigger? It's not because I'm seeing here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. It's a little blur. I don't know. One line. So let me try this way. I'm sorry, last time I pulled up before. Uh, if you come to the front, it will be better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm sitting here. I mean, huh? I mean, you know what I'm sitting here. I don't see very well. Oh, that's not friend. I mean, this. No, no, I'll pull out this place because. Okay, so just now. Yeah. Okay. 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 You want me to pull up like this and discuss, or everything was clear that we discussed so far? Yeah, that's better. That's better. 